it just looked disgusting. There was white, like almost biological growth looking stuff growing right on it. I'm sure there could have been some mushrooms growing on it if you let it go long enough. Hey guys, welcome back. Bobby here with the best of the worst. You have to see this to believe it. A lot of times, you know, we, we go out to a lot of houses. We go out to a lot of houses that have no cooling. We go out to a lot of houses that have no heat. We go out to a lot of houses that have noise complaints. We, have, we go out to a lot of houses that have smells. Well, I just want to talk to you about what can happen to your mini split if you don't take care of it. Or what can happen to your coil in general or your blower motor. I went out to a call and the customer was concerned about the smell inside his house. He says, it doesn't smell right, it smells musty, kind of smells like old gym socks. And I was like, geez, that's got to be some bad smelling air right there because I know my gym socks, they didn't smell the greatest. With that being said, I get there and I just have a short, brief conversation with the customer and I get right to work. I grabbed my flashlight, I looked up inside where the fins come out and the ductless mini splits. And mind you, the blower motor needs to be off so you can really see what it looks like. It just looked disgusting. There was white, like almost biological growth looking stuff growing right on it. I'm sure there could have been some mushrooms growing on it if you let it go long enough, but it was, it was in bad shape. And what that does is it, it weighs down on the motor. So pretty soon you're gonna have a lot of ticking sounds or squealings or squeakings because the motor's balanced on that wheel. And if you add weight on that wheel, it's gonna take the balance off and it's gonna start rocking back and forth. It's gonna be terrible. What I found to be the most effective cleaning solution to this issue, because this issue is common, trust me, look at yours you're gonna see some stuff that you're gonna wish you never saw. There's a fix for that. We have something called, it's a ductless cleaning kit, and we put a cover over the mini split head that catches all the water. We have the fixed pressure washer tool designed for these coils because you don't want high pressure on these coils. It can bend them, it can make them fail. What we do is we, we put the cover on it, we have cleaning solution that's half and half inside our pressure washer, and we just adjust the dial accordingly. We also put a uh, coil cleaner spray on it that way it breaks up some of the, the real stuck stuff and we get to work. When we're doing it you can actually physically see the stuff just falling down into the bucket and it starts to turn your stomach a little bit because you're, you're like man unfortunately the customer has been breathing this for however long. It could be a year, it could be two years, it could be six months. One day is too much to be breathing that. It can and will affect a lot of things. It can affect your health, it can affect how sick you're getting. So there, there is a solution for it. With that being said, now you gotta find out what's causing that because it's gonna build up and it's gonna keep doing that. How often should you get that done? Depends on your living situation. Depends on if you have dogs, cats, kids. If you're outside all the time, if you open up your windows and doors, the atmosphere, there's so many things that become a factor with that. So I'm gonna post up a couple pictures. You're gonna see what it looks like when it's all set up. You're gonna see what it looks like inside the blower wheel. And then you're gonna see the aftermath, what's, what's inside that bucket, and that's what you've been breathing. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit us up. You can like, you can share, you can just send it wherever you need to go. We just need to get this information out so people know what to look out for. Thank you guys, we'll see you next week.